otherwise we will start the spring with a queenless colony which is not what we want so again we're just filling a little bit into the cells just to give it a bit of a kick so we've just got the thymol which is just going to help us make sure that our nosema problems are helped and the sugar syrup in the bottle will just give them a bit of a kick for the spring feed so we've still got quite a lot of honey stores you'll notice that I'm not going down to check the bottom super because they were extremely full when uh, when we started the season now this is something that I was taught years ago to do with bees in a an emergency if you get a really short uh, thing and what we can do is a fair liquid bottles better but you can literally add to the cells some sugar syrup normally not fine mold and just and the old boy who, who taught me that he always used to have it in a uh, washing up bottle and what he used to do was he used to just come along and just give it a little squirt and basically what he used to do was he used to fill up the store cells with sugar syrup there we go and that's the end of our fluid and that will be the end of our inspection so again we're just going to make sure that the queen isn't anywhere to be seen just make sure that as many of the bees as possible are in the hive rather than out of the hive very docile because it's as I was saying it's a cold so we're just going to shake this off get in and just going to make sure that we have that on and in now I've got one or two bees just kicking around out here and what I can do is just knock those just straight in there so they're back inside out of the way ok and that's where my sugar syrup would have gone just sits on the top there and in that way like I say if we have any problems we can just deal with it like I say very cold just over six degrees now according to the uh, to the gauge so we're just going to make sure that we get as many bees as possible back into the hive where they belong so that's how I treat them you can do if you want to have a frame feeder or if you wanted to you could also have a um, big top feeder if you wanted to but 
that's them. Also we've noticed that little colony, it's alive, it's still going. Could really do with some more sugar syrup in this or some more fondant. But they've got the jar on the top, they know where this is. I mean, they go through this jar roughly in about three or four weeks. So they are nibbling at it, so they know where it is. If they wish to kick in big time with the feeding to, to, to start the spring build up, and this can be checked daily if it needs be. And as soon as this jar is gone in a day or 24 hours, then what I'll do is I'll just put another brew box on the top, 12 and a half kilo block of fondant, straight on the top of them, a few little guide bars so it just sits just off the nest, and away they go. And then these guys can then kick in and start building up big time. But at the moment, it's January. I'm not planning on doing anything except for just sustenance feeding, just to keep them going. Okay? So... See you all on the forum. Bye-bye. I've got a uh, watch in front of me. I'm just coming up to the couple of minutes mark. So that's me finished here. Again, shake the bees off my hands to make sure they're inside. Gently lower the lid just to make sure that we, uh, we don't trap any. You'll notice that I'm just placing a screw under the cover board. And the reason for that is just to, because I've got the jam jar on, it just gives it a little bit more, a little bit more ventilation. Because of course I'm using the ventilation hole, so there's a screw under the cover board in each corner. And that just helps things along. So there you go. Thymol, stock solution sugar syrup, fondant on the top. If I got this outside I'd have a super here or a feeder and I'd have a big block of fondant and I'd just have it sat on the top. No need to do it in the bee shed. Literally I've got a fuel gauge on the top of the beehive. So when it starts to go down it's a very simple case of just a piece of wood over the top to swap the jar. New jar on the top. There we go. Okay so see you all on the forum. Bye bye for now.